Hey guys, Philip Liebel here with Primitive Wilderness Survival and today I want to show you a quick tip on how to save a wet lighter and more importantly how to set your lighter up and prevent it from ever being a problem in the first place. The first thing I do anytime I get a new big lighter is that I remove this little child safety thing. So that's going to do a few things. One, if this gets wet, it's going to make it a lot easier to get the moisture out of there. And secondly, if it's really cold, uh, our hands aren't working very well, our thumbs aren't, we don't have, uh, you know, the dexterity we normally would, it's a lot easier to flick that if that child safety lock isn't on there. So a way to get rid of that, if you're at home, use a flathead screwdriver or something. If you're in the field, you can use your knife. Just do it carefully so that you don't break the tip of your knife. So I'll, I'll kind of pry this direction using the heavier spine of my knife to do the work. But you can see that thing just kind of locks into place there. So what I'm gonna do is insert my knife and then pry forward, okay? And it went flying across the room there. But now we no longer have that child safety on there and it's a lot easier to spin that little ferrocium rod, that little striker. Okay, so that's gonna be a lot easier now in colder weather, but also if this gets wet, we can clean that out and dry it out a lot better. Now, something else that I highly recommend is getting one of these little sleeves from Exotac. Now, these are great. For one, they're completely waterproof. They seal off. So if you do drop this in the water, now you don't have to worry about trying to dry it back out. Okay, you're, you're good to go on that note. <clears throat> you have two places here. You can put a lanyard, you can put it around your neck, you can put it with a neck knife, you can hang it from your bag, whatever you want to do. This also floats. <clears throat> so in the instance that you're kayaking or canoeing and it goes overboard, not only is it going to stay nice and dry, it's also going to float and it's going to be easier to retrieve it. So definitely check out these uh, from Exotac. I'm not sponsored by them. I don't have uh, I don't get anything from this. <clears throat> I just think this is a really good uh, piece of kit. And the other thing you can do with this is once you strike this, you can slide that little sleeve up over and hold that down. So you can keep an open flame going without having to hold it with your thumb. So really cool piece of kit. But if you're not smart and you don't plan ahead and you don't have one of these, we want to talk about how to rescue this guy. So I've got my cup of water here representing Pack Rat Outdoor Center today. So this thing is full of water. I'm just gonna drop that lighter down in there. I'm just gonna let it sit for a minute. Okay. So you see it is soaking wet. We'll dunk it in there again for good measure. Okay, this thing is now soaking wet. And it's not gonna lie. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is to get as much of that moisture out of there as I can. So I'm gonna get the majority of it out just by slinging my hand like this and trying to really sling that moisture out. The next thing I'm gonna do is blow really hard into the opening. So you'll get water in that little nipple there where you're where your fuel comes out. So I'm gonna blow all the moisture out of there and blow all the moisture off of that wheel. So there's, you essentially have a ferrocium rod with a little wheel that strikes it. And then that strike, that spark, ignites the gas that's coming out of there. So we have to free that thing up to where the gas can come out because water can keep that from, from escaping. And we also have to dry this thing enough that we can create sparks with the ferrocium rod. So there's two things at work there that we have to make sure is happening. So I'm gonna blow very forcefully into this thing, you know, probably five, six times. And now I'm gonna take my shirt and I'm gonna dry that wheel off the best I can. So you can see there's a lot of moisture coming off on my shirt. Now I see sparks happening now. So we should be good to go as long as that nipple is cleared up. So we have sparks. There we go. So 
it must still have some moisture down in there. So once we get those sparks and that fuel coming out, it might take a few, a few of these to get it nice and cleared up to where it's gonna strike every time. But and that's it. You just shake that water out, blow into this, you know, five or six times. Make sure that little guard is gone so you can dry it out really nice and you're good to go. But it's a lot easier, for one, if you drop this thing in the water, you know, you're out fishing or in a kayak or canoe or something, it's gonna be hard to get this thing back. But if you have this, it's gonna be a lot easier. It's gonna float. Uh, you can keep it tied to your body so you don't worry about it. Uh, so definitely recommend preventative measures first. And then if things go south, that's how you rescue a lighter. So thanks for watching guys. We're gonna have at least one or two of these quick tips every week. So just fun little easy videos uh, to help you guys out. But thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe, uh, share out our profile, our YouTube. Let's get this thing growing and hopefully I can see you guys around a campfire pretty soon.